Hello, NCC Church family. Thank you for joining joining us for our midweek Connect video. Uh, so our question for this week is: Why are some chapters in some books of the Bible not in chronological order? So in 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 some books of the Bible, when you read the story through, it doesn't follow the chronology that we know from other things that are referenced in those chapters. So one example of this would be the book of Jeremiah. Uh, the book of Daniel would be another example example of that as well. And there may also be some places in, in other books uh, that follow that same situation. Uh, so good question. I want to read the first, uh, just, just one verse out of Jeremiah chapter 1 to get us started. Jeremiah 1 and verse 10, God is speaking to Jeremiah and says, See today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. So this serves as a theme verse for the book of Jeremiah where God is telling Jeremiah this is your mission, this is what you're going to do. And the book of Jeremiah gives us the things that happened in Jeremiah's ministry, the different nations that were going to survive and thrive and other nations that were not going to survive was a big part of what Jeremiah's prophecy was about. So the question why in Jeremiah, are the chapters not in order? Why are they not in Daniel? Maybe why not in other books? So the answer to that is that there is a story that's being told. And sometimes when you're telling a story, it's more important to link certain things together than it is to tell the story exactly how it happened. And I think we see this also in the Gospels. As we look at the Gospels, most of what's written in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is in chronological order, but there are times where as we compare the different Gospels there may be some things that are a little bit out of order. So I think the best answer is sometimes there's a greater purpose to the way that God through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit wanted the Scripture to be written down. There's a greater purpose in the story that's being told. So a couple things to remember. We are Western people. Most of you viewing this video are Western people We've been raised in the western part of the world, and we tend to look at things logically. And so we expect things to be orderly, and we expect them, in this case, to be in chronological order. That's our natural expectation. But people in the east view things differently, and so recognize that, especially in the Old Testament, we're dealing with, with uh, Jewish writers and a Jewish audience, so they, they looked at more the whole picture what is the story telling them about God? What is the story telling them about people that serve God? What is the story telling them about people who didn't serve God? So more of a holistic and a different angle than we Westerners come at things sometimes. So that's something good to keep in mind. And then also, every book of the Bible has a specific purpose. So when you're studying the Bible, and by the way, I really appreciate this question because it shows, shows me that you are, you're studying the Bible and you want to understand it. So I'm so thankful, I'm so encouraged by that. Continue to do that. But when you go to study a book, try to maybe get a little bit of information about the book and about the purpose of the writing and the context. So um, Biblica.org is a good place. Blueletterbible.org is a good place online where you can get some introductory information as you're starting to read a book of the Bible. And feel free to reach out to us here at the church office if, if you're starting to read and you need some help getting that context. We'd be glad to help you with that. So those are things to keep in mind. We, we tend to read with a Western lens and some of the things written in the Bible uh, are more from an Eastern lens. And secondly, try to set as much context as you can to understand the purpose of the, the writing of that particular book, and that will give insights into to why things are arranged the way that they are. So let's pray together today. God, we thank you for your amazing word. We thank you for how it guides our lives. God, we thank you that you, in our time, have given us so much insight into your word. So many scholars, so many faithful teachers of your word give help to give us clarity god thank you for speaking to us thank you for guiding our lives thank you for being so faithful we pray in jesus name amen